Hey everybody. What I want to talk to you about today is something that's very disturbing. Um, and it's something I hope you'll take seriously. I haven't shaved. I haven't been up very long. That's why I look sleepy. But who cares? This is more important. So, I watched a video this morning. And the guy... Not sure where he was from. It's on my Facebook profile. And, uh, <coughs> pardon me, I really just got up <laughs> not long ago. And, um, he's talking about a man he saw on the street who's eating his own face for food. And to think that it's this bad that, um, people are eating their own flesh for food is is disgraceful of the human race so as you go about your day everything you eat today I want you to think about this this person who ate their own face whatever it is you eat I don't want you to feel guilty for eating what you're eating but I do want you to think about that there are others that don't have anything. And don't take your food for granted. Don't take your health for granted. Um, while you are doing whatever you're doing today, working, playing, whatever you're doing today, 50,000 children will die of hunger and preventable diseases like a vitamin A deficiency, for example, which is like a two cent shot. We've got lots of money here. I could give $20 and provide for 2,000, 2,000, 2,000 I think, gets to uh, live because of this, missing this shot. It's ridiculous. I lose $20 probably several times a year. Um, so, what I want to hopefully get you to consider is what your purpose of your life is. And if the small concerns and worries and anxieties and fears are worth anything if if they're any even uh, even meaningful so i'm a little stuffed up i just woke up um because all my concerns certainly don't mean a thing Anytime my mind complains about this person or that person or myself, uh, which it does, everybody's mind does. And if you don't admit it, then you're not being honest with yourself. If you have an ego, it complains. That's what they do. Until you start to get a handle on it. And that's why I meditate every day. So, there's something we can do. Um, you have to decide what that is. But there's something we should do. And whatever it is for you, we should do something in this life to stop people from dying. 50,000 children. That's just the children dying a day from hunger. And I want you to start to look at your life from a broader perspective and think about where you're heading and what you're going to do in this world. I'd like to get you to try to look outside of providing for yourself and your family and look bigger. It's a big world. Every single human is your brother and sister and if anybody tells you differently that you just have to worry about your family they don't know true unity. Especially, especially if you're a spiritual person. You call yourself a spiritual person. And 
you don't consider every human to be your brother and sister. Every time you complain about somebody, complaining about your, your brother and sister. And I don't mean like a family brother and sister. Because we all do things to hurt each other, but that all means nothing. Real unity is when we can see everyone as equally important as ourselves. And that means also that it's equally important that these others eat. Because if they're not eating, in some way, you're not eating. If they're dying, in some way, you're dying. And they're here to show us that we're not awake, that we're sleeping, that we're unconscious, and we need to wake up and change this world and into what it can be. We have all the technology, all the intelligence, all the ability here today to change this. We just have to make it important. It has to be important to you. Because if it doesn't start with you and me, where is it going to start? The politicians certainly aren't going to take it on. We have to inform the politicians about what we want and make them do it. If we're going to have people acting on our behalf, we have to make them do it. Um, but there's things you can do too. You can donate a small amount of money. Find a, find a charity that feeds people and donate a small amount of money every month. I'm going to start doing that right now. I'm going to go online. I had tried to do it before, but it didn't take or something. Um, I'm going to start with $10 a month. I'm going to make it $20 a month. I'm promising you right now. And I'm going to list below this video who I'm donating to. Um, there's, I might do it here in, uh, in, in my city. Um, probably not. I'm probably going to do it overseas. And if anybody has any ideas of good charities, make a video response or uh, send me a comment or something. So I just want to hopefully get you to... Uh, Look outside yourself today, and not just today, always, because there's something much bigger going on here than our personal stories, than our personal troubles, than our wounds, you know. I feel upset because I, I got hurt because somebody hurt me. So what? somebody hurt you it's very difficult but if we look beyond that the personal hurts I've been hurt a lot in in life guys trust me um, but none of that matters because there are people dying right now every three seconds somebody dies of hunger think about that three seconds so in this video, it's like eight and a half minutes long, times it by 60. What do we got? About 500 people have died over the course of you watching this video from hunger. And, and you have plenty of food to eat. So do I. There's something wrong with this picture. We can do something about it. And I hope you'll start to look at your life a little bit differently and maybe consider living it for someone other than just yourself and your family even if you lived it for one more person and helped one person in your life make sure they had food then uh, you you'd be truly a saint so I love you I hope uh, I hope you'll consider this message.